All right, so we've got a match here between Troll Wars and Meme. That was on George's Isle. So this was the second round of the 80. So Troll Wars, yeah, Troll Wars running the snare build, heavy snare build with two Ellie's, two Mesmers, which they've been known to run the last few days especially. Which will pro probably be good against Mean because Mean don't typically run the builds that are very strong against those kinds of pushes. Yeah, Mean running two Warriors, Mesmer, a Distortion Alley. So this looks like a Fire Alley actually with Distortion, so annoying Mean it will probably be a Mind Blast. And what looks like probably a Smiter Monk with that Necro uh, enchant removal that makes him cast his next enchantment faster. So, oh, Mean actually with Holy Veil on the Hill Monk, so it looks like they might actually be prepared for the Snare Way. The Snare Way is quite an effective build on Druids a lot of the time. Um, the main weaknesses with NP's build is that is Ellie damage, just like builds with a lot of Ellie damage and AoE, and builds with Waitress Mesmers. Because while they're snaring, uh, with you know the water and the earth, and the AOD, which is probably going to be this guy. While they're sneering, it's very hard for them to shut down damage. Usually these days, with these kinds of push builds, you're going to see Hammer Warrior and Wastrels. It uh, is much more defensive kind of build normally, because it lets you sort of train out their damage characters and push and do damage at the same time. But I think that MP like to run it, yeah, with yeah the Dom Mesma, which is a much, much more aggressive kind of build. Oh, we see Spellbreaker actually on this the Smiter, what I assumed was the Smiter of me. I think it probably still will be the Smiter. Yeah, there we go. So Mean do cut the second flag. Uh, we see MP coming out their second flag on the Dervish. Mean coming out on their uh, Fire Distortion earlier. So Mean has been known to run kind of weird builds on the monk flag. It looks like this monk actually will have a snare, which is interesting. Yeah, Blessed Light on the monk flag. So that's actually going to be pretty good for this initial sort of flag run where there's just one Ellie pushing. But once they get into the ABA, oh, that was PNH as well. So Mean really sort of came prepared with their monk bars, but the rest of the team is not really set up to deal with this kind of uh, push build. So while they will have good good monk bars, I think, yeah, there's the spell breaker. But Spellbreaker is going to be taken off quite quickly by AOD if AOD was up. But Mean is getting his flag further than most teams would, thanks to all of these anti-push skills. But if, I think that if this push continues, if they're still successful, or even just this successful in staring him, stopping him getting the flag in, it would be very difficult for Mean because this Monk flag does not offer much healing. Blessed Light is. You know, it doesn't heal for very much and costs a lot of energy, so it's not really a great return on the energy. Although it is a nice hex removal, I suppose. So if you see the ward get off, this is actually kind of a very risky position. He needs to get out of this ward if he wants to get this bag in. So we see while Mean was getting pushed, the enraged smash where I said. The Warrior Ellie is also in Rage Smash, so I think that they have two Hammer Warriors, Main does. Just managed to take out a Knight. But this Ellie is full block, this is really bad for Main, this is the opposite of what they want. He needs to start casting right now, I think. So this is actually where NP's build, not having a Wastrel's Mesmer and not having a Hammer Warrior would start disadvantaging them. If this Ellie started casting, he would do a lot of damage to the ball up and NP would have to de ball. But they do pass the flag off to Warrior, but this is actually going to be quite risky because now Main really doesn't have any damage to. Well, they do have the Ellie damage, which is going to be quite a lot actually, but it's going to be still quite difficult to get this flag in, I think. I'm taking a lot of damage, and he goes down and gives the bus to the Water Ellie, and the flag has now been returned. and morale boost for NP. So this is really looking quite grim for Mean already. They really put a lot of effort into getting that flag in and it was just not successful. So we see the water early now using his mobility from the boss to run around and kill this warrior that was pushing. So now it's going to be very difficult for Mean to have sort of any control over the map with this boss water early. It's just going to be disastrous for Mean. So Prop Monk does 
mean running two roughs, I think, on the one on the Viger, one on the front mark. So looks like it's while well, Min is not running the flag, Envy is going to be focusing all the damage on this front mark. He should be fine if he can PH himself, but because he's not Cassian, I'm going to guess. Okay, there we go. If Envy have either diversion, yeah, they have diversion. They use the kill mark there, I think. Uh, yeah, they're going to be targeting the Sig Harm. There we go on the PH. Which will be very, very effective. Now we do see means Ellie gets caught out by the boss snare Ellie and the flagger. So yeah, Mean really doesn't have any chances to split up their team right now just because of the boss Ellie. It's gonna wreak a lot of havoc. If they want to split, they need to split with their monk flagger, because otherwise this Ellie would just pick them apart. The so Mean actually do get this flag in, but it looks like MP will cap right over the top. And now Main will be fighting with a play disadvantage and basically half a flag down or a full flag down. This Promark still getting trained out. The Main is in a really tough position right here. Here comes the Sighum. That was Sighum on the PH again. So if Main wants to survive, they need to really start taking out that Sighum. I'm not sure if maybe means Nesmi here doesn't have. Complicate, which would be very, very unfortunate for me. But with, if they don't take out the uh, Sig Hum, then you know, without PH, they can't remove the AOD really, in which case this Spellbreaker is going to be completely useless almost because it's just going to be taken off the AOD straight away. So it looks like this Ellie did split and take off the Water Ellie from NP momentarily. But, see, Main still don't have a flag, so Main is just trying to kill him in this AV8 uh, and just not run flag, which is a fair decision. We see the Sig Hum again on the PNH. So, NP taking some damage while they're playing super aggressively on the Pro Monk. You see the Water Alley Zinc playing very smart. He's just sort of sitting back, he's not joining in this train on the Pro Monk. Because he knows that if he gets in range of these warriors, he's in super high risk of dying. Oh, does he the bull strike there for 200 damage? Oh, almost gets taken out. Yeah, so it's kind of getting boss on the water early uh, is kind of a double-edged sword. In this matchup, it's not as bad because NP doesn't really, or rather, Mean doesn't have all that much early damage. The mind blast doesn't really offer that much, especially. Since Meteor is a huge part of the Mind Blast arsenal, and he can't really hit Meteor on a bus alley because of how fast the boss moves, he can just dodge all the Meteor. There's another Bull Strike for 200 damage. Oh, saved kind of at the last second almost by that Guardian. So Zinc does have to watch out. He really doesn't want to give this boss over to a Hammer Warrior. It'd be quite bad for for NP. But he's playing smart. He's sitting quite far back. Like main is yeah there we go death on the front mark. That ward you know even if they can remove all the hexes if they still get stuck in that ward he's gonna take a lot of damage and get trained up very effectively. So I think yeah the reason it's kind of a double edged sword on the water alley is because water alleys really don't have any good armor that they can run. Most alleys can run blessed armor which gives them like an inherent plus ten most of the time with achievement but. Water Ellie don't usually run attunement. You see this one is going to have Glyph and Glowing Ice I think. So that means he's probably going to have 60 armor all the time without boss. Uh, with boss he's going to have like 27 armor or something because it gives minus 33. So 27 armor is really not not very much. We saw that from the 200 damage bull strikes just before. I think it was 222 damage on the first one. So main is being forced to pull back a little bit. Yeah, NP is just able to play so aggressively right now. There's a diversion on the hill monk. They're probably just diverting the hill monk and taking out the PNH. We did see PNH go off there, so probably any second now we'll see Sighum get recast, I think. He'll be off cooldown soon, probably. The hill monk getting punished quite a bit, you can see him. Take some energy denial there and getting a diversion and 
So there's my Sigunta. PNH is still up. But okay, there's the AD. Yeah, they didn't even actually need to take out the PNH there, which is really great news for NP that they could kill without taking the PNH. They just shut down the heal monk, and the flagger really doesn't offer many heals, and the prom monk can't heal himself. So it's actually very good by NP to notice that they actually don't need to shut down the PNHs. Importantly, as they do need to shut down the heal monk. So we see the warrior court over here. Tried to maybe run off while his team was wiping, but got caught out by the snare rally. He's gonna try and kill himself before time so that he can base res, but this Ellie could actually keep him snared if he runs in range of him and keeps using Freezing Gust. No one uses Winter's Embrace and he should be able to kill himself now. There we go. So that's nice for that Hamori, he will base res, but it's still going to be very difficult to score kills. You know, they don't have really much shutdown. Uh, I mean, the Mesmer is not shut down, but it's really difficult to shut down all that they need to with just the Mesmer. The Earth Ellie is offering just so much defense against uh, this build that Mean has. So this Earth Ellie, like this basically the entire build of NP, is super high risk, super high reward. Kind of like an old school. Earth Ellie, uh, NP has been running where they only have sort of two energy management. Um, I think that they've been running Glowstone, whereas people used to run Glyph. So it'll be Glowstone, if they still have that, Glowstone and Attunement. Um, Glowstone is kind of better against Wastrels just because it sort of recharges faster and it's 3 fourths instead of 1 second that Glyph is, but you know, that Warrior gets caught out in that position and sort of killed off the time. So yeah. This Earth Ellie buy will be a little bit better against Shutdown and against Wastrels than uh, the normal sort of old school Earth Ellie bar is, but it's still. Yeah, there we go, that's the glass now. It's still very, very uh, ineffective when being shut down by Wastrels. Earth Ellie's. These kinds of Earth Ellie bars uh, are pretty much the worst kinds of bars against Wastrels Mesmers you can find in GVG these days, or in GVG in the last few years. It used to be basically whenever you loaded in with one of these Ellie bars against the Wastrels, you would automatically lose the game just because of how how easily it gets taken out. It's oh okay, so he actually has Glyph and uh, Glowstone, which means that he might not have Attunement, which is interesting. Maybe anticipating having that Attunement removed. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to whether he was getting energy over his head or not from Attunement. So he actually will have significantly less energy management than he would if he had attunement. So he might be quite low on energy, but they are still managing to get kills through. Even though NP's build actually doesn't have much damage, they're still uh, the main reason the build can kill is because it just cuts through any defense that Mean has basically. You know they're able to shut down the critical character, which is the Hill Monk, as we saw before. And pretty much the AOD and the snares can just slice through the rest of the defense, and as long as they can just keep getting GPS off, the targets will die eventually, which is what we're seeing. There's a complicate on the healing burst. And see, come on the healing burst as well. And it's looking pretty grim for me. So sometimes what we'll see teams do is when they're facing a flag push build like this. Uh, they can sometimes just hold the flag to main team, not even try and cap it, and just try and aviate. And even if the flag push team boosts, then might you might start, you might still just keep holding the flag there, just because as soon as you start running flag, the flag push team will generally have a huge advantage, because that's really the only situation in which they're effective in most of the time. But we did see NP still able to score some kills in the straight up aviate uh, after Mean had a little bit of DP and NP already had boss. So, this, I think that Mean probably got quite outbuilded here, despite speaking pretty hardly on their backline to try and counter this kind of build. So, it's a nice job by NP to pull this one out. I think that was a flawless. And, uh, better luck next time to me. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.